a little thank you for all I've given this city. I have supported human life for over 12,000 years. I am a major tourist destination generating over $3.1 billion of economic return to this city. I am the identity for the city. The city is named after me. I am the San Antonio River. And I'm not some insignificant stream. I extend 240 miles beyond the Riverwalk. I have a watershed that covers 4,200 square miles. I nourish a very important ecosystem all the way down to the bays and estuaries. And I provide fresh water flow for the habitat of the endangered whooping crane. I am a significant water resource, but you wouldn't know it in this town. Yes, I'm a little churned up. And I have some confessions that I'm going to share with you today. But first, thank you for the recent investment that you have made in restoring my ecosystem and extending my economic and recreational value to this community. But I'm, but I'm here. <laughs> thank you. But I'm here to warn you that that investment is not sustainable if I don't start getting the respect that I deserve. From where I'm flowing, I don't think you really know or maybe even care about the looming threats to my health and water quality. With all the talk of water supply challenges and dropping Edwards Aquifer levels, I think most of you are just praying for rain. But I must confess, I dread the rain. I know it may sound silly to hear a river in the middle of a drought saying that she doesn't like the rain. Yes, my water levels have gotten shallower and shallower, and this past summer, my fish really felt the heat. My headwaters are spring-fed, and those springs aren't flowing. And a great rain could recharge the aquifer and bring my springs back to life. But at what cost to the rest of me? When the storms come in San Antonio, I get so very nasty. It's disgusting, really. Because the storms bring runoff, and runoff brings pollution from all the human activities up in the watershed. And I get so contaminated that it's embarrassing to admit that I and many of my tributaries don't even meet federal water quality standards. That means we're considered impaired. And what's worse is that impairment comes from bacteria that flows into me when it rains. The bacteria is combined with other pollutants, such as not, um, nutrients, hydrocarbons, and metals that all accumulate on the hardened surfaces like roads and parking lots. And when that first flush of rain comes, they become so concentrated that when the water reaches me, it degrades my water quality, kills my fish, and makes me unsuitable for human activities such as swimming. The rain also makes me uncontrollable. It washes so fast over all the hardened surfaces that I, my velocities become so forceful that I erode what little natural banks I have left. Over the last few years, there's been even more flash floods and I've become even more dangerous. And the trash, oh, I cry a river every time I see the amount of trash that flows to me after a storm event. It comes in from the neighborhoods and tons and tons of trash line my banks. Fortunately for me, the San Antonio River Authority has used your tax dollars to pick up 44 tons of trash already this year. So I hope you can understand why this old river dreads the rain. Well, next, I must confess, I have a serious case of natural resource envy. Aquifer, aquifer, you would think that's the only natural water resource that you have in this town. I would love to get half the attention that the Edwards Aquifer receives. Think about it. You humans have altered your life to protect the Edwards Aquifer. You have achieved national recognition for water conservation and reuse. You have spent millions of dollars acquiring thousands of acres over the recharge zone to protect it from development. And you know 
that if you want to continue to drink water from the Edwards Aquifer, you have to protect the endangered species that live there. I am in awe of the Edwards Aquifer protection that you've achieved in this town. Probably most of you know if you're over the recharge zone, but probably few of you know what watershed you live in. Only 10% of Bear County is in the Edwards Aquifer recharge zone, but 100% of Bear County is considered in the land area that ultimately drains to me, which is considered my watershed. So I hope you can understand why I am envious of the Edwards Aquifer. Honestly, I just don't really think that you see me as a water resource worth protecting like you do the aquifer. I'm just a great place to take family and friends for dinner when they're in town. Well, my last confession is a bit more controversial. In this, the home of the world champion San Antonio Spurs. But Mark Cuban is my hero, followed closely by that loudmouth Charles Barkley. These two gentlemen have done more to raise awareness of the status of my cleanliness and health or lack thereof. When Mark Cuban called me a nasty, muddy creek and Charles Barclay echoed his remarks, I became the most talked about river in the nation. Everybody in town came to my defense. Unfortunately, my time in the limelight lasted only as long as a media cycle. But now, today, after that media hype faded, the threats to my water quality still remain. I get it. The demise of the San Antonio River is not an immediate crisis. My health needs are not urgent yet. But I'm here to warn you that the longer you take to meet my, to address my health needs, the harder and more expensive it will become to bring me back to a healthy ecosystem. And what's worse is my health could take a dramatic turn for the worse if development continues in the way that it's going. Please understand, I am a water resource worth saving, not just a pretty picture on a tourism brochure. So you want to help me, right? Yes, good. You need to become my voice with elected leaders and the development community and begin to demand sustainable development practices, incorporating te techniques such as low-impact development that use features such as bioretention or vegetated buffer swells or rain gardens, all that use native drought-tolerant vegetation to filter the pollutants from stormwater before they reach me. These techniques work and will improve my water quality. Next, you need to demand less pavement be built up in the watershed. Reducing impervious cover will slow down the stormwater and reduce the impact of flash floods. Basically, what I'm asking you to do is change the way you build in my watersheds. Making my watersheds more sustainable will make your city more attractive, will improve my water quality, and will create more green space for recreation in your community. Well, I hope you haven't forgotten about that trash. Y'all need to, to use that trash problem as a call to action to change personal behavior. The cleanest cities in the world have a culture of personal pride and responsibility toward litter reduction and recycling. Having people take personal ownership of cleaning up my watersheds and reducing the amount of trash that flows to me would make me overflow with joy. Well, I hope I've convinced you that I deserve more respect. Again, I appreciate the investment that you have made in me recently. I look much better than I have in decades. But please remember that that investment is not sustainable without improved land management and enhanced personal stewardship. I have given you an international identity and a history rich in beauty and economic prosperity. Please. 
give me a future. Thank you.